This is Rupert. Come here. Come here. He said, oh, you're going to sit by me? Come here and say hello. How are you doing? Empty and forgotten In the waves of darkness Colors seem to take in birds and um, we help about 2,000 injured and orphaned birds a year. We have some um, that come in and never leave. <laughs> so we have sort of a sanctuary to some extent for birds here that, um, you know, we don't, we never put anything down. So it's, uh, you know, they stay as long as they need to, whether it's finding a home or um, healing up and some of them are in, Hello, yes, that's very loud. <laughs> Some of them are here for, you know, years getting medical care or waiting for homes. was putting boxes in the shed from outside and the rain started pouring really hard and all of a sudden the roof just came off the building that I was in so I thought to myself for a quick second I I don't care about anything that's out there getting wet I then was concerned about the animals out here and what was happening with the wind that we had and I came out of the building down here and went to walk through here and I couldn't even see my hand in front of my face. The storm was, you know, it was pouring so hard. But when I got down here, all the cages we'd built and everything we had done was destroyed. All the pins were lifted up. Some of them were over the fence. We found some of them in the field. They, um, you know, it was just like a tornado came through and destroyed everything. Hi, Mr. Fuzzy. You want to come sit on my lap now? Oh. <coughs> oh, are you guys going to get jealous fights now? Hmm? Are you jealous? It's okay. I'll pet you too. But anyway, I was here working and Sandy called me in and she said, oh, come in and sit down. And I'm like, just tell me what it is, you know? She goes, well, you know, it's $60,000. And I, I, I was like, oh my God, wow. <laughs> Cause that's an incredible amount of money for us. We don't even get that much money in a year for donations. You know, originally I thought we, they would just give you the money and we'd pay to have a barn built. And then when um, we found out they would come down and do the work and all that, we, we were really excited. I don't get too overly excited about many things. <laughs> but um, that was pretty, it was a pretty big deal for us. So you have these college kids who are giving up their winter vacation, mm -hmm. New Year's, to come out here and volunteer, I mean, just what does that mean to you? I, it's it's really cool. I I mean, I have two teenagers, and I can't uh, couldn't get them to put out this kind of effort. So when she said college kids, at first I thought, oh boy, because I got to chase mine down and um, put them to work. But we have just been blown away by these kids. They're they are so dedicated and so hardworking, and I think um, it definitely gives us some uh, hope for our youth here <laughs> that um you know there's definitely some um they have an incredible work ethic we just it's really been um heartwarming to see them all put in the effort and um to give up their whole vacations and and they work every day all day sun up to sundown so we we just have been blown away by by their um efforts here
A big thanks to Rescue You, the Pet Finder Foundation and the Animal Rescue Site for being out here and helping us uh, with all the hard work and our grant. You're going to definitely help us save hundreds of birds, thousands of birds um, every year with um, our new barn and we couldn't have done it without you.